folks, what's going on? Jay Alonzo here. I'm David Danger Neff. Welcome to Rilla Back. And today we're talking about Jason Statham versus a 75 foot shark in the Meg. The Meg. Meg no, me. Shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. So in this B rated film, Jason Statham, who plays a phenomenal diver, uh, who typically rescues people from uh, from under the sea. Mm-hmm. So Literally. Ariel, you know, wherever you are, you know, Jason Statham has got your heart. Um, you know, he he goes and he like saves people. And this huge like scientific research exhibit basically finds like this this area that was supposed to be solid ground, but it's covered by fog. The bottom level of the sea, but it's covered by fog. And they decide to break that barrier to go deeper to more, more bottom of the sea. And then they discover but this what they find out prehistoric shark. This seventy five foot ginormous great white shark, the Carcharodon megalodon. Megalodon. Scientific name. Megalodon. Just no a megalodon. Me. No me, megalodon. No, no me. megalodon. No me, megalodon. <laughs> and for the next hour and a half, we get just this balls to the wall, crazy as shit, B roll movie shark infestation of a. Good time. It really is. Now, I don't know about you, but a lot of times with uh, a lot of times with uh, shark movies, you get a lot of jump scares, yes. right? Because everybody's afraid of what's below the water. Of course. Right? And I remember one particular scene where it was just a little one settled. Jumped. And we're sitting there. We're like, we're like, all right, we know what's coming. We know what's coming. And the both of us who were like, ah! you know, we just like jumped out of We both seat. jumped. Now, the, the, one of the great things about this movie is uh, it doesn't take itself too seriously, which can be a bad and a good thing when you really think about it. Of course. Um, now, when you go to a movie like The Meg, you know, you're, you're basically getting Jason Statham versus a shark. You're looking forward to seeing if he's going to punch a shark out. They're going to have a full-blown Duke out contest I think in this one movie. Of, I think one of the things that's really strong about this is that they, they try to give everybody's, like, time to shine. Yes. You know, a lot of times B movies, you kind of see, like, one person get all the lines and all the yes. goals. But in this case, they made the right decision in kind of giving the whole cast, while expendable... Very expendable. ...the chance to actually... Give you a little bit of a chance to care about them. Now let's talk about the expendable cast for a second. Ruby Rose is in this movie, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna flat out say it, she's a horrible actress. Um, I've never liked her in nothing that she's been in, and well, uh, yeah, you kind of win for her to kind of bite it, and you kind of just waiting. However, on the flip side, we have the the great talents of Cliff Curtis, an amazing actor. He's been uh, doing this for a long time and a great guy. Great, yeah, great to see him in this movie. And of course, uh, we have another actress by the name of uh, Lee Bing Bing. So, uh, so no, tell me a little bit about her. I know nothing about her. I know the fact that she's big overseas, and this movie has a production uh, that is pretty much catered to overseas. Right. And so as far as I would say, Gravity Pictures is one of the uh, production companies on this movie, and it does cater to that uh, that, that China uh, uh, film crowd. Now, with that being said, there's genuine fun to be had with this movie if you keep that expectation low. Exactly. Like, let's face it. The main reason why you're going into this movie is to kind of get scared a little bit. Yep. You want to see some good action sequences. And you kind of want to see what the hell do you do to a big friggin' shark. Like, it's it's enormous. You know, yes. it, it literally, you cannot take your eyes off of it. And at in some way, shape, or forms in the movie, they just make it sneaky. They make yeah. it, they make it, they, they make it seem, now, now think of it this way. Imagine yourself not being able to see a 75-foot shark coming at you. Not being able to is the key word. You get that image and you get that that horrific uh, imagery and it's just swimming close up to you. And that is where this movie really shines. When it, when it focuses on the main actor, really, which is the shark. Well, this, let's be real. The, the two stars of this movie is Jason Statham. And the shark. Now, right. this movie is directed by John Turtletop from uh, National Treasure fame. Right. Uh, cool Runnings, for those who haven't seen Cool Runnings. <laughs> That's nice, man. Classic film. I'm not but, do that again. Don't yeah, worry. It's, it's all right. <laughs> but uh, overall, though, you do get this sense of a uh, very, very, very much a B-roll movie. However, there is fun to be had. Uh, I would just say, once again, go in there, keep your expectations low. And overall, there is genuine fun to be had with the mech. So let's score this thing. The combined total that we decide when you take away the uh, B roll movie of this uh, of it, 
Um, the action sequences are fine. The but writing is a bit kind of... It's sketchy, yeah. and, and there's definitely some logic issues with it. I think it's safe <laughs> to say that we give this... We're going to go five and a half out of ten on the Meg. Definitely five and a half out of ten. Thank you for watching. For more Reel It Back, please make sure you click the subscribe button somewhere in the browser here. Over there? I think you're there. right, yeah. And for more Jay and Dave, check out the Bachelor Classics podcast on iHeartRadio, Spotify, and iTunes.